All right, so now that I've had this um, Auto Aquin for weeks now, just wanted to quickly go over it. It's been working absolutely amazing. So what you do is you have two sensors in there. You can see the blue one and the clear one. Put it in your return area, not in the refugium. All right, this level doesn't change, so it's not gonna react to this. Is this is the one that goes up and down. I spoke with the company themselves. They said it goes in the return, even though there's nothing in the directions that states that it goes in the return, okay? So basically right now I'm just using my one gallon pail here. It goes down, see, you can see the water lines here. Last night when I went to bed at about midnight, 11 o'clock, it was here. This goes down a little over an inch a day. I fill it once a week for about a total of 60 gallons of water between the sump and the tank. Um, over here, really straightforward. You've got your ATO on and off. So if you look close, the top left corner says on and then it says off. Press it to turn it on and the little uh, impeller shows that's your pump one for the auto top off and that's it. When that top sensor you can see it from here. It's right at the line. If it just drops down, that will turn on and pump water in for about three, four seconds. That's it. Stop it. But um, if it pumps for more than like seven or eight seconds, it will shut itself down and emit a tone to tell you there's something wrong and it won't fill again. Because it shouldn't take more than a few seconds to pump in because it only pumps in a small amount of time. So that's the built-in safety. Sorry about my cat, he keeps crying. Um, the auto top off, I mean the auto water change. So on that, it's actually um, just as easy. So that, you hit this button, you got your auto water change. You press the button, I don't wanna press it because it's gonna screw up my settings. You press it to go to manual mode. And then in manual mode, you're gonna press the little arrow here and it's gonna start emptying. The very first time you run this, you have to do manual mode so it learns how long it takes to empty down to your second sensor. And then once it empties down to it, what it's gonna do, it's gonna pause for three minutes to let everything level out. And then after three minutes, it's gonna refill it. Now, during the manual mode, you just press the little arrow button a second time after it fully empties out if you wanna bypass that three minute delay, and then it will refill it back up all in one shot. Now, on my automatic setting, now that I did the one manual, these little dots here, well, there's a total of five. I only have four. That's how fast you want it to refill the water. So if you're using cold water, now I put it on number four, which is the fast, the, it's almost the fastest. One step further, five dots, it just dumps all the water back in at once. It'll just pump it in all in a row till it's filled. Now, if you have heated water or it doesn't affect your temperature in your tank, then, then you can use that setting, that's fine. Um, I put it on four, so what it does on four is it pumps for 20 seconds and then pauses for 200 seconds. That way, it takes it about 10 or 15 minutes to put back in a couple gallons of water. That way, the tank has time to adapt and get the temperature back up, so you never have temperature sag. Um, Overall, it's all there is to it. It's really simple. Once you set it up, you set how many days and hours you want for it. I set it on every three days. And I, I'm about two or three gallons for the water change, I believe, about three gallons. I haven't measured it yet. Um, my wastewater here goes outside. I just have it dump in the yard. I'm gonna put a container out there one of these times and measure how much, but it's about three gallons because um, I timed it. But overall, that thing's been working great. And also, so it comes with three little pumps. Um, everything plugs in here. Now, if these pumps, see this one isn't long enough. I couldn't even put it down here because it goes all the way down to the bottom of this barrel. They do sell extensions. They're quite hard to get. Nobody seems to stock them, but if you go on their website, there's a model number for it and you might be able to find one somewhere. They have six foot extensions and three foot extensions. Also, Let's say you have a huge tank with hundreds of gallons. These pumps are 74 gallons per hour, which should be fine for any tank. I mean, I don't see a problem with that, but if you wanna use a bigger, heavier duty pump, you can just unplug this and Auto Aqua sells a module 
that plugs directly in there. Uh, and then you plug your pump into the module. And then when this tells that pump to turn on, it turns on the pump that you have plugged into it. So it's pretty universal. So you can use it with any pump of your choice as long as you buy the $60, or I think it's $30 for the little module plug that plugs into here. But overall, it works good. It's got all kinds of built-in safety, so don't worry about if the sensor gets dirty and, and it can't see or it clogs up. Everything is timed. So the first time it does your water change, it knows exactly how long it took to do that. And if it runs three times longer, the second time it does it, it's gonna stop filling the tank and pause. And it's gonna stay there till you notice it because it's gonna be emitting a tone repeatedly until you come down and hit the button to clear it. So even with the top off, it emits a tone if it takes too long to top off. Um, I've had it do it many times, so I know it works. I've taken water out upstairs out of the tank to do something and then the, all the top off started running, which I forgot I left on and um, it, it, it shut, shut itself down because it was taking too long. And it does not ever allow it to put enough water in to cause a problem. It shuts down very quick. And then you just come down here and then you'll just hit the button on the screen to clear it and it will start pumping again. So when you do water, or when you're working on your tank, adding fish in where you're floating water or taking water out, you need to shut off the auto top off. And since it has the auto water change and auto top off in the same control, they don't interfere with each other ever. There's a delay between each one. If it needs to auto top off and it's doing a water change, it will wait to do the auto top off for a while or vice versa. It will let things settle and stabilize. So I don't want to make this video too long. That control is very simple to use. There's no clock on it or anything. You just set the amount of hours or days to your water change and then it shows it count down. Just make sure after you set it, you hit the arrow button so it shows this screen. Because here it is flashing. Press it again and you see it blinking the clock dots. Make sure those are blinking or else you're not. It's not actually on. I left it on for two days once wondering why it wasn't counting down. It's because I didn't hit the arrow button to get the little dots in there to start blinking. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I'll answer them the best I can. But I just wanted to go over that a little more thorough because I haven't gone over it super thorough yet. If you like a video of me actually setting it up and using it, I can do that too. Just let me know and I will. Um, but it's pretty simple. The directions, make it sound pretty complex, but it, it's so simple that the directions, they just make it seem harder than it is for some reason. Um, but that's it. All right, I'll throw this video up for you guys and uh, I'll get another one soon. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like if you like the video. Thank you.